Hi, Manushka. Today I want to talk about man boobs. We also call it gynecomastia. Now, I think this is really important to talk about because it's really common. And what we also know is that it can really affect how a man can feel about himself. It can be linked with depression and uh, concerns about body image and can cause people to become quite indrawn to themselves. So I hope by doing a video like this, um, it may help understand why it's happening and if there's something you can do about it. So the main thing I think to understand is that we all, men and women, have sex hormones, testosterone and estrogen and some other ones. Now in men, of course, there are higher levels of testosterone, but sometimes something can tip that balance and this is where the estrogen levels can come up and estrogen causes breast tissue to grow. Now, there are extremes of life where this can happen quite normally. For example, in newborns, oestrogen can actually get passed down through the mother to the baby and cause increased breast tissue in newborns. This usually disappears by itself after a few weeks. During puberty, the body is trying to get used to its new hormone balance. And sometimes the testosterone and oestrogen levels can become imbalanced and gynecomastia or man boobs is actually very common during puberty. Now, in the majority of cases, when puberty is complete, the body has normalised its testosterone levels and the gynaecomastia just goes away by itself over time. Another extreme of life is as men get older, for example, over the age of 70. They tend to produce less testosterone, so again, that oestrogen imbalance tips the other way. And also, men as they get older, if they're putting on more body fat, well, that body fat produces oestrogen, which again will help increase that breast tissue. So that's the kind of natural causes of gynecomastia, but then there are other causes that we can control to some extent. So one of those is medications. Now there are some antacid medications, um, heart medications that can cause gynecomastia. We also know that alcohol has a huge, huge impact, use of cannabis, anabolic steroids, and then other medications like anti-prostate cancer medications. There are also some long-term health conditions that can cause gynecomastia, such as liver or thyroid problems. And also, very uncommonly, there are some genetic conditions that can cause it as well. Now, what does gynecomastia look like? Well, essentially, it's an increase of either one or both breasts in men. Remembering the age extremes I talked about, it can actually happen at any age, especially if you take into context the other things I've said that could cause it. The main thing to know is if you're worried, make an appointment and see your GP without panicking. Gynecomastia does not turn into cancer, but it may present as a firm lump behind the nipple area. And therefore, if anything is different, it's important to get it checked out. The one thing not to mix it up with is general obesity, because if one is to put fat across their whole body, then of course the breast tissue is going to look bigger. But it's fatty, not firm, and that isn't gynecomastia in itself. It's what we call pseudo-gynecomastia, or fake gynecomastia. So we want to decipher what is true man boobs and what is just fat. And that's something you can control. Now, other ways to control it are trying to look at the medications that might be causing it, but there isn't a quick fix. It's about having a discussion with your GP, making sure that there aren't any concerns to make sure it isn't a cancer. Because although men have a very small amount of breast tissue, they can still, still get breast cancer, but it's much less common than in women. So it doesn't mean it doesn't happen, but it's worth getting checked out. Now, when you see your GP, as well as having an examination, they may recommend some blood tests. These are often to check your testosterone levels, other hormone levels, your liver function, and make sure that there isn't anything odd there. It's important also specifically to make sure that you don't have any lumps on your testicles. So in men, it's very important because some testicular tumors can produce hormones that in turn increase the breast tissue. So part of your gynecomastia examination usually should involve an examination of your testicles as well. So take control before that happens and check yourself in the shower. So if at the extremes of life, for example, older men or in puberty, we're not expecting it to go away by itself, we can't control the medications, sometimes we can do surgery. Now, surgery, if there is a hard lump, can be done by removing that tissue. If the tissue is very soft in itself, it can be treated by liposuction. 
Now, surgery for gynaecomastia isn't often performed on the NHS for, with funding reasons, so it's important to have a chat with your GP and see what your options are. So in summary, gynaecomastia is really common. Don't be ashamed if it's happening to you, but do see your GP because there may be some advice they can give you about how to deal with it, how to help lose weight, change medication, and make sure that you don't have anything else going on. You may be referred to a specialist, either a breast specialist or an endocrinologist, a hormone specialist, if there's an imbalance on the blood test that you're likely to be recommended to have. Make sure you check your testicles that there aren't any abnormal lumps. So in the shower, check them out in case there is a lump there that's producing hormones that's causing the breast tissue to grow. And try and get your BMI in the right range because just by losing weight, you'll have an idea of is this body fat or is this actual increase of breast tissue. I hope that's been helpful.